Okay guys, so one of the tools that we've been using in class has been the snipping tool. Um, and what the snipping tool is really good for is taking out particular parts of maybe a website um, or a document and, and just trying to use them. So rather than having to copy the whole thing. So if we look down um, in the bottom section of our windows, if we click on here, we can type in SNIP and you'll see your snipping tool will come up. If you right click on it, we can pin that to the taskbar down at the bottom. So we'll always have access to it. It's quite a handy one and I, and I use it quite a bit. So I would pin it to the taskbar. But if not, we can just open up um, our snipping tool. And when it opens up, um, you'll see here now that I have one that I was pre-doing before, before I'd started this. But if I move this over here, if I want to try and cut out this little monkey, I have two options. So the first thing we'll notice is that you've got a few different ways in which you can snip. You can snip in a free form, a rectangular or a windows. So rectangular is the kind of default and most common one. So I've selected on that. And if I press new snip, I can turn around now and take out a particular part of this website that I want. So it's all in gray. And if I click and hold, so left click and hold, and then I drag it across, you'll see the rectangular snip that's opening up there. And now I have that particular image that I can now use. I can go and save that wherever I want to save it. So in this case here, you can see I had one previously done from, from a class earlier. I can click on that and it's going to replace the name. Don't worry about the spelling. And then I press save. And yes, I want to replace it. Now, it may be a case that we only want to take out a particular part of a website. So it might be this little monkey here that we want to do. So again, if we open back up our snipping tool, this time we might change the mode to the free form. And by changing it to the free form mode, we can then turn around and isolate the image you want. So I'm going to try my best to go around this monkey. It can take a little bit of care. I'm going to go around this monkey here, join them back together. And you'll see now that I've just taken out that monkey. And so again, if I go to save or file save as in my explore folder, there's my monkey. I'm going to clip, I'm going to save, I'm going to replace the one that I just had. So we now have an isolated image from a site that we'd use that maybe we couldn't find elsewhere. And the snipping tool is great because if we go into our documents, we can look at it nearly creating a logo. We've done this for a few people in class today where we opened up our Word document. We then went to insert and we went on to our images. So our pictures from this device. So there's my monkey that I've taken off that website. Okay, and then I might turn around and I might insert my word art because I want to make it a, a nice funky thing. And I'm going to call this Refni's Montessori. It says O R I. Okay, so there's Refni's Montessori. Um, and then I might just turn around and put a, I might just stick my phone number on it here. So I'm going to change the font down to a font size 12. Uh, and my number then is going to be, so it's telephone 087 Okay. So if I wanted to, I could create a new logo by going back into my snipping tool. Okay. Open them up again. I'm going to change my mode back to rectangle. And if I left click and drag him across, Oh, I need to get rid of this. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Let me try that again. So I don't want this guy going to be in my way. So I've just moved. I've dragged him down. So left click, hold, drag him down. I do a new. Pull him across. And now I have a new logo. So again, we can just see here I have this little thing from, from where I'd last clicked on my mouse. That would annoy me. So I'm going to try it again for a third time. And now I can see it's all blank. Left click, across. There we go. So that's essentially like a brand new logo. I can save that and I can put that in here as my new logo. I can press save. And anytime now I want to open up a new Word document. If I want to insert my logo at the very top, I can go insert picture from this device, my new logo. And there I am there.
So the snipping tool is a great little function for just playing around and creating new images that you want to do and adding in bits of word art. And I would encourage you to play around with it and see how well you can do. Thank you.